Hello, everyone! See if I can get this right. Yeah, there we go! Yay, and welcome to another live stream of Bloodborne, brought to you by Time Out Gaming and Epic Pause and all that good jazz. Oh, yeah. All right, then. So, here we go. Shorts yeah, made. so... Okay, <laughs> that too. Yeah, okay, so now she's here. She's... Yeah, she's usually... I've been seeing her walking around a bit. She was right here one time. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then she was all the way up here, back to the last time we found that one bone. Huh. Alright, so here's another thing we need to... We're going to start today, or tonight, or have everyone look at, yep. to the new dungeon! Yeah, this is the last one we, uh, I guess, started before we went back to the real world. Awesome! Right. So, like, per usual, our live stream, um, for those who are up to catch it, when we do the live stream, welcome all of you, but it will go up on uh, YouTube for those who want to catch it later, who want to rewatch it. Um, the uh, Twitch live streaming, or the Twitch archive doesn't archive uh, everything like YouTube does. Uh, so for posterity, we'll be doing that for a little while, especially for longer games like Bloodborne that we play. Mm-hmm. And... Remember, everyone, uh, get ready for Mortal Kombat, all that blood and guts. Yes! Mortal Kombat is coming up, so that is going to be Alrighty awesome. Alrighty, then. Well, this place uh, seems homey. Yes. Yeah, it, it kind of looks similar to... Um, okay, I was about to say... looks a little bit similar to the one we did last time. Yeah, with the deep underground root network of the trees. Yeah. So last time we saw a demon dog. Yeah, I wonder what this one's going to be. Hellfire dog. Like um, I said, I still don't trust that. Nah. All right, let me um. All right, uh, here we go. That hip yeah, point. and to show everybody, look how good I've been doing. Level four hundred and sixty-four. My uh, weapons have done a lot of damage. Yeah. There's only one drawback. My frenzy resistance is very low. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, it's ninety-five. Well, how do you get that to? I gotta have better armor. Oh. And you know, we haven't. I haven't gotten that far to get better armor. Oh, that's right. That's right. All right, then. here we go. Like I said, last time, I still don't like this. As soon as you reach to another place, you have to light something else. It's like, oh, great, someone's going to kill us. Yeah, but, you know, these dungeons... Oh, hello! Wow, that... I was about to say, if that thing is kills me with one hit, I'm going to be pissed. That would be impressive, to say the least. But, yeah. but then least, again... The enemies still seem pretty manageable right now. Yeah, well, I'm thinking this is because of the first dungeon, and I don't know if the, you know... I'm trying to think what the word is by, you know, me getting stronger, they're getting stronger as well. I think, oh, hi, that it looks like their cap level is still the same in dungeons. I don't think they get affected as, Not, in, the reg as in the regular game, but I could be wrong. Well, I, I, I don't know. Oh, hello. Whoa. Flaming sword. Did they have that before? Yeah, they hit, somebody had one of those before. Yeah. Um, let me just use this real quick. Um, oh, hello. Nope, but, you know what? I'm just gonna skip you because I know where the real threat's coming from. What was that thrown at me? Oh, well. Oh! Well, you well, all. That's... Yeah, you all suck. At least you all. Okay, never mind. I was about to say you all died. <laughs> but except for the one who's throwing shit at me. Yeah, but I, I have to say that, you know, I, I do really enjoy the dungeons. They're very nice. Uh, I, won't, I don't want to say break, but they're very nice change. Ow! Leave me alone! Um, from the rigors of the actual game. Because yeah, until we get later on, then the harder dungeons, you know. Oh, the harder dungeons, they're going to suck. But the dungeons that, you know, we're doing now are... I like the dungeons because it makes the game seem a little more streamlined. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, these are, I guess, technically are supposed to be, like, secret, um... I guess, secret, uh, areas, I guess. Well, yeah, you have to do a special ritual to get to a dungeon. Yeah, and also, man, everyone's throwing stuff at me. Yeah. I think this is the only upgrade that they get that they get to throw stuff at me. That or just that's the that's the new thing in this dungeon. I mean it it makes me wonder what these white wraith like creatures are. It seems like they're supposed they, to be like dead bodies. I, I think they're like very, you know, zombified uh, bodies, I think. I think so too. They look like they're just regular oops, regular people, they're just, you know, like dried out. Yeah, just dry mummified basically. Oh, is that a sack dude? That's the sack dude. I'll, when when we finish the this dungeon, oh. probably the next one, I'll show you where they took me. Holy crap! Yeah, he's just sitting there like staring at me. Hey, friend. Oh, okay. Oh, he's leveled up. Yeah, he's a little level up almost. But yeah, see. Okay, you're new. Wow. Yeah, this, they didn't have the sack dude before. Nope. Oh, ritual blood. Th 
three. Okay, yeah, because so, I'm, I'm thinking the higher rituals, you need more uncoagulated blood. Okay, then yeah, you you all don't look good. So I'll be right back. So it guys. looks like the the common items that you get down here are the ritual bloods. Yeah. That's so what it kind of looks like. They give it to you, I guess, in order so that you can progress further mm -hmm. into other I mean, weapons. I got a lot of the Ritual Blood 2 ready to go. I just never got Ritual Blood 3 because I didn't want to do this dungeon yet. That's really cool. Because um, it makes me wonder how, what how, what's the highest level you can get. That and what are these shining coins? Oh, they're like, here, I'll show you. Um, oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh, you're going to throw poison daggers at me? I don't think so, buddy. You're just sitting there in the darkness waiting for me. All right, so um, yeah, here he goes. Um, da, da, da. oh yeah, here's the blood I was talking about oh, from the blood, the pleasure uh, woman of Ariana. Ooh, blood take from Ariana Cathedral Ward, woman of pleasure. The sweet blood of Ariana restores HP and temporary speed, stamina, recovery. A member of the Odd Healing Church would old. know. Oh, old healing church. <laughs> uh, would know that her blood is similar indeed to precisely what was once forbidden. Yeah, I guess yeah. she's more like uh, I don't know. The closest thing to a vile blood, really? you know, or forbidden blood to use because, you know, I guess you get addicted to it or something. Oh. I don't know. But, um, oh, back to what I was trying to show you. Um, here it is. See? Uh, it just shines. What? Can we sell it? Uh, I don't think you can. Hold on, Rose Quicken. I could have swore I charged these. <laughs> this will at least give me time to prepare what's going to happen next. But uh, what we're we going to talk about? Oh yes, um, I learned something very interesting today. Huh. I learned that the Smurfs may be Nazis. Yes. Yeah, that was a weird thing we I found out. Oh, <coughs> please, please do tell. Yeah. So what we figured out that the creator who made the Smurfs was originally a boy that uh, in Belgium, I think it was, where. Uh, they were under Nazi power, and so we were. It would be kind of interesting looking how you know all the Smurfs wear white. They have the hook, the hats that kind of look like hoods. Um, oh, dogs! What the hell is that? Oh. That's a dog. I hate dogs here. I hate dogs. Aha! Dodge. What's that on the ground? Oh, that's just one of you guys. Laying on the floor. Yeah, he's he's gonna try to oh, surprise me like this guy did. Huh? All right. So what's this guy gonna do? Hey, buddy. Not much, uh, apparently. Hey, oh, don't, don't sell him short! Oh, wow. He still didn't do more damage than that sack. Though. No, still, it's they can still hit me a pretty good amount of times. But, I see London. I see France. Yeah. I see, oh, we'll see how much of the underpants. Yeah, that's Not a big much. old butt crack. <laughs> so what we were going about is that um, it was very... Okay, just making sure nothing else pops out behind me. We were... we. Uh, were okay. they lit like that before? I, no, that's why, I, that's why. Okay, that's why I stopped. I was like, okay, yeah, somewhere a door. Um, nice. We were talking about how you know their uh, like Smurfette was the only woman there because they were the uh, what they aspired to become. Not women, but you know the Aryan race, pure blonde hair, blue eyes, I all believe, this other weird stuff. I think they were called Uber mentions. Yeah, Uber we talked about this in uh, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, we did. We did. And um, the thing was that um, Gargamel, which was the wizard that tried to steal the Smurfs and turn them into uh, gold, was a weird stereotype of Jews. You know, they they saw we saw them as disfigured people, money hungry. You know, thank the you South Park. For, yeah, the thank you uh, South Park for the the, the Jew gold. Mm -hmm. You just sit down on the floor. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of you guys around here. I guess they were hanging out. Yeah, something like that. Or oh, they're guarding something, which they they didn't do a very good job at. No. And uh, I thought that it was just weird. It was like, huh, that could make sense. Oh, and the uh, the main reason why we also thought this was because since Papa Smurf always is wearing red, and that's what the KKK leaders wear. I mean, their leaders wear red. Mm -hmm. That's how you know. Oh, did we just go around in a circle? Yes, we did. I think we did. Okay, then. So we did. So now I guess that was just another way to go. From where we went before. At least we left a shiny breadcrumb. Yep. Alright, so we checked everything, so I guess it's time to leave the first level. Yeah, I guess the door to find a door that led somewhere to some other yeah, place. Yeah, it, it should be the. It's usually the door that's all the way in the beginning from where we started is is what opened. Oh, really? Yeah, here, here I'll show you when we get there. 
So every time we went to a new door, the last yeah, time... Oh. Because we just came out from that door over there. Usually these things are lit purple, like that one statue. And when oh. that statue, when we unlock it, these will turn blue, which will allow us to open up the door. I didn't even notice that last time. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Alright, let's see. Um, huh. Not like in this place. Whoa! This was fast! Beast possess. Whoa! That, this is faster. This, hey, he kind of looks like, he looks familiar, doesn't he? Yeah, he looks like that horn guy. Oh, he is the horn yeah, guy. Yeah, he is. I guess he's, he's his big brother. I guess he heard about his uh, little little brother. Oh, crap. Yeah, he's, he definitely tried to hit me like a ram. Yeah, and he uh -oh. still did that finger thrust technique. Yep. All right, I need to get my stamina back up a bit. Oh, yeah, you you can go and just leave me alone with fire. I don't like fire. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this. I yeah, hope you like it. But to be done, or not to be done, but to reach a boss this early on. I know, that was surprising. This, that's kind of weird, but okay. I, it's probably just like a mini boss, you know? Because he, he doesn't look that threatening. The other one was still very threatening. Yeah, the other one was a hellhound. Yep, all right. What is that? That's a oh. lantern, but I heard some whispers. I heard something whisper. So, mm. we had to find a mini boss already. That's interesting. What was that? What's this? A lever. Hmm. And I have a very bad feeling about th Oh, it's just a. Uh, I was about to say there's an elevator right in front of you, genius. That's just in case we die, we can pull the lever so the elevator goes back upstairs for us. Oh. Yeah, see? Same thing right down here. Okay, well, I think that guy was kind of like the uh, the trio of fat dudes that we fought before. Yeah, basically. But we still didn't fight them to like the second or third layer. Yeah, unless this doesn't have a very long dungeon, maybe. I don't know. Neither do yeah, I. Let's go this way first. All the dungeons or... are new and they're, they're rogue-like randomized. What's that? I saw it too. Oh, I see it. There it is. What is it? Don't know. I don't like it. I'm like, oh, what hey. are you guys? Oh, hello, you're scorpions. What? They're scorpions with eyeballs. Uh, I think that's their um, stinger. Stingers. Holy crap! Look at what that. What the heck are you guys? It's kind of weird. Oh, jeez. Yep, you give me frenzy poison. You, you all can die. Oh, and you spurt blood when I mean poison when you kill when you die. Well, well that's screw cool. you guys. I'm good. I'm definitely gonna have to, you know, get some uh, distance from these things. Wow. Okay. Oh. I mean, it's not, you know, completely threatening like the farmers with the guns. No, but, you know, poison, you know. All it does, it takes a little bit of, uh, ouchies. It does enough. Yeah, it does enough. Okay, then, so it looks like I just have to do... Stab them I once? hear. No, it looks like I just have to do enough damage and they do a suicide attack. They oh. try to do frenzy and try to kill me. Okay. But I hear more scuttling around. I don't like that. They're probably on another level or something. They could be above me. I, mean, I wouldn't yep. doubt it. They're probably yeah, I can hear there. something scuttling around. I don't like that. No. Who knows what else is up there. Well, <laughs> Alright, so um, probably the other door led me up. Is going to lead me up there, maybe. Okay. So we, that The first door on the left we took took us downstairs. The one above probably just goes back upstairs. Oh, this just... And there's another one. Yeah, this just screams. I'm going to get screwed. I'm going to get in this corner over here, make sure something else pops up behind me. Okay, good. All right. Yep. Distance is nice. key. I don't, you know, I don't know why. I feel so at ease uh -oh. when you come I oh. knew that was going to happen. I was like, gosh. I was like, this barrel's next to me. Wait, barrels explode. And I look up, and I see that guy. I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> fuck. I mean, that explosion just erupted in my brain. Yep. And I wasn't ready for it. And... It happened in slow oh. motion in front of my face. Yep, I know. Like, oh, that's a... What the... Is what? that a dookie pile? That was, I think, something weird I killed by accident. What was that? Dookie! Yeah, hold on. Was that just like a mass of bodies? I think it was like a mass of rotted flesh. This looks like it. Okay, before I go any further, let's go back where the guys were throwing stuff at me real quick. Like, you remember those, um... Those slime molds that stuck to ceilings in Dark Souls? Yeah, that kind of reminded me of that a bit. Yeah. They're really... I think... I would think that that thing is weak against fire. It probably would be. I mean, because there's fire only... What was that noise? Something that threw the uh, grenade at you. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because there's only three types of... Um, <laughs> yeah. 
There's only three types of attack. There's the phantom one that I have right now. There's fire and there's electricity. So those are the only, basically, uh, I guess, buffs you can give besides poison. Huh. But that's just something you can... And oh. Okay, here we go. I was about to say... I hear giant footsteps. I know. I don't like that either. Giant Especially when you have steps. that there. The the Yeah, poison. the cage thing. Wasn't that a real thing in medieval days? Yeah. Hello. I hear you kidding up. Yeah, this... Uh, they did that... I think that they did that in Pirates. To Pirates as well. They would stick them in that thing. And just suspend them in yep. midair? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Now, yeah, what would that do? Uh, make sure that they couldn't go anywhere. Oh. No, and also, they could throw stuff at them while they're in there. Or poke them with do stuff because they can't do anything. They're floating in midair. Oh, that's right. Oh, hello. All right. What is that stomping noise? Don't know. It could just be them throwing stuff. Okay. Why do I highly doubt that? I know. Me too. You know, I, I I'm I'm leery every time I see a chest <clears throat> from you know certain Dark Souls games because there was the mimics. A, yeah, the things that would try to kill you uh, as soon as you open them. You know, I think that, uh, that that type oh, of... Oh, look who it is. Sack dude. Alright, so what do we got in here? I, I think that's what we've been hearing. I what, think. the sack guy? Maybe. I don't know. Why? Although I still hear it, though. Oh my, it sounds like <clears throat> something stomping and running. Yeah, I know. Well, no, you ain't doing that. I know you did that last time. Oh my I've got a lot of Ritual Blood 3, which is a good thing. What is making that noise? That's a long what stairway. The heck? Yeah, I know. And something's growling. Is it downstairs? Oh, this is where we were. What? Oh, so we oh. gotta lower the bridge. Yeah. Okay. But how do we do that? Oh, okay. Maybe there's something up here we can do. Um, possibly. I don't know. It's still. Wait for it. Hold on. Well, I was about to say, don't go all the way up. Oh. Oh, here we go. Does this work? Yay! Yay! Now we got a way across. Cool. All right, so yeah, before sure we go can. across, let's check this real quick because I think this is where the noise is coming from. Oh. Yes, this is where the noise is coming from. Dogs. Just a big old room full of everybody. Hey guys, how's it going? How's the party? Oh my gosh, poor dogs. Oh wow. Oh, Look that's at everybody. what was stomping around. Yeah, that's what was making that noise. Okay, we need some just fast. We don't need distance right now. We just need fast. Oh. Okay, just... Well, okay, you guys just, you know, just leave me alone. I mean, oh, but... Yeah, know. I know, but it's just... It's, oh, it's not threatening now, but when there was a big group like there, trust me. Oh, yeah, they can kill you quick. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that they uh, just bottleneck them for a bit. Yeah, okay. All right, well. so... Woo, tempting bloodstone. Or gemstone. Oh, boy. And now okay. it's quiet. No. Nope. a little bit. There's still somebody around here trying to do something. Probably you? No, there's probably nope. somebody in the other room. He got up, though. Somebody off in the distance still stomping around somewhere. Yeah, I think it's that guy across the bridge still trying to throw stuff at us. Nope. Oh, you, wow. Oh, no. I saw his head jerk. He was watching he me. He was cleverly hidden. I like yep, that. there's another one. Hey, how you doing? All right. Yeah, if I didn't have the, the little light lamp, I couldn't really see the, the echo of them or the outline. All right, so hidden chest. What do you got for me? Or coffin. What is that? Hinder's Tomb Chalice? Is that what it said? Yeah. This must be to a new area because remember there was like three different types of chalices. Oh yeah. So there's this, I think there's three levels or at least three different dungeon types. I mean this is like the weird forest one. And I guess there's three different versions of this and then that, that other one that looks more like a, a bowl than a, oh. than a cup. So... <clears throat> Since we got the chalice, is that it? No, I think uh, we could beat it without getting this chalice. It's just uh, so we can go to other dungeons, I think. Other similar dungeons? Uh, I, I think this that one's supposed to be like a different dungeon altogether besides this weird... Well, I don't remember a drawbridge in the other one. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Each one... It, the other ones were just like this. It has uh, underground, the weird roots and everything. I don't know if the bowl one will be different. Could be. Okay, so this is the upper area. Yeah, I think... Yeah, that's where the scorpion thing was, wasn't it? Yeah. So now I guess we gotta find the lever. Yeah. So that a door somewhere can open. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Was that... Oh, no, that was just a body exploding. Oh, that made stepped me on panic. It. 
Like, <clears throat> what just popped out? Nothing, because we're in a dungeon. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I think this is a dead end. So, yeah, it looks like we have to go upstairs. Oh. Okay. Besides the, all the where the where all the hanging bodies are. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I know, right? All right, so um, how do we get up? What was the point of that anyway? I guess just to give us a shortcut back to the beginning, so we can go through the I side. I guess. Or... This Don't... dungeon is confusing me. I know, but it's like a because uh, I know I can't open these. Can I bust them open? No, I won't. That'd be too easy. Look, they look more like graves than um doors. Yeah. Um, no, that'd be too easy if you could just bust down something. Yeah. Oh, that's worth a shot. Okay, well, it looks like there's nothing else here, so let's go back, see if we missed something, and then we'll go the other door. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, that's... I guess, I, mean, well, I don't know, maybe that this, the door, all it did was just help us uh, get the... Oh, uh, there's the guy who's been throwing stuff. I think that's the one we've been hearing, making noise. Oh. All I know is that I just now notice there's a lot of people who are just hanging. I want... Is that just dead bodies in general, or are those other hunters who may have fallen here? Uh, it's probably a little bit of both. It looks like hunters, church... Because someone looks like... Look, someone looks like they're in... Um, church clothes? Church clothes, sacks, all sorts of stuff. Or they could just be victims of these guys. I tend to believe that. Uh, yeah, I think he's just throwing bombs and trying to hit me. I don't know why he's throwing bombs now when he could have threw it at us when we were on the lip. I think we were just weren't in his hitbox area, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like there's nothing else left, so let's go to the other door. All right. We did it. Yeah, we did part of it. All right, yeah. here we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he should be the one making noise. If not, I don't know what is making that noise. Huh. Where are you? Yeah, there you are. You're the one. Oh. No. Throwing poison at me, so somebody else must be throwing. Well, there was two of them. I still hear. Okay, let's see. Nope. No, okay, maybe it was him. Maybe, I don't know. Oh! Oh! What was that? That was him. He's probably the uh. one that did it. Because there was two of them. Ouchies. So, I, like I said, there was one up there, uh. and there was one behind me that threw the bombs, and I guess that was him. Nice jump scare, buddy. Yeah, that was good. I still hear something crashing, though. You still hear that? Yeah. What still don't know what's that? making the noise. Who are they bumping? Yeah, well, maybe it's over here. I guess. I, I guess don't know. we just don't gotta have to think of. take the other direction and go up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hear, hear something. Some. He's moaning. He's groaning. Alright. Well, then. Hey, we missed somebody. Well, I don't think we've been over here, so. Mm hmm. Long hallways, long corridors, always a good thing in horror games. Yeah. Uh, this is probably where the lever is. Could be. I hear something glowing. Yeah, I hear something. What was that? Oh, lamp. Oh, that's, that's a helpful. good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need that. Mm -hmm. Probably. All right. Um, oh. Hmm. Waiting for us, are you? Well, yeah, there's the door right there. Oh, cool. So the door is in a different location. Yep. Okay. Looks like that whole purpose was just to get the chalice. Ow, jeez. Wow, that thing poisoned me real quick. Ooh. Yeah, probably one more hit from the poison darts or daggers. And I'm... You have slow poison. Yep. Do they have fast poisoning? Yeah, Frenzy. That's what the scorpion was giving me. Speaking oh, of which... Frenzy is fast poisoning? Yeah, Frenzy's uh, here like the stats. See, there's a uh, rapid poison. Ah, See? okay. Rap oh, that sucks. Okay. Yep, okay. So I need... Yeah, here's the antidote. I d whoopsie. There it is. Now I have antidote. Just need to have that handy, just in case. Yeah. Alright, okay. so which way you want to go? Forward or to the left? Let's go to the left. Left? Alright. Uh -oh. Somebody threw something. Oh, it's oh. you guys. Oh, and you over there. Okay, let's get rid of the small hey. fries first. Yeah, I don't want to get set on fire, thank you very much. No, that looks like so. Oh, what the? Oh, he has a boom. Yeah, That's what gotta... was making that noise. Okay, yeah, now we know what was making the noise, I think. Nope. And wow. your aim is terrible. Yeah, your aim. I think I hit him when he. <laughs> He's like, Urgh! just landed right <laughs> on top of me. All right, here we go. I don't see anything else. Oh, I see somebody hunched over here. Oh, looks like this was just a dead end. To some people, I guess, is to your doom. I guess. Yes, and yeah, it's quiet. I don't see any other doors, so yeah, I guess it's just a. To kill doom. him. Oh, it looks like there's somebody above us. Oh. Huh. So we'll figure what that is later. Okay, so, no, it must have taken 
a crazy mind to design these labyrinths. Yeah. Okay, I was yeah, wrong. I hear something. Obviously walking around. The hell is that? Did I'm I looking. hear a fly? Okay, nope. He's up there. I'm trying to look for where the ladder is. Just moaning. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, it's probably as soon as we get up there, he's going to be, like, right next to me. Yep, yep, I was right. What is that? That's a weird looking witch. Oh, it's a witch. I'm thinking. It's using skulls as a weapon. Oh, hello, hey, stack guy. Hey, guy. You know what? I want to try something real quick. It's him who's walking around. Yep. Okay, that still works. Oh, he's pissed. Yeah, uh, you died. Oh, oh God. Yeah. He's uh, strong. He went Super Saiyan. He's strong. Oh, boy. Okay, I just want to see if Molotov Cocktails could still actually do something to people. That or, like, you know, just somehow magically go over them when I throw it. Huh. Because it's done that a few times, remember? Okay, oh, yeah. that, that looks very ominous. That smoke. Yeah. So, I'm going to check the other room before I go to, you know, Danger Town. Or okay. the Danger Zone. So, he was the one who was stomping. I didn't know his footsteps were that heavy. Probably. Or he's trying to, like, you know, spook us out. Alright. I think we're right above where we killed uh, the boomstick guy. Oh, cool. I think. Yep. Yep. Alright. Alright. I mean, could have swore I saw something up on the ceiling. Hmm. I'm a little paranoid now when I saw that one thing drop. Yeah, but it it's not like... Okay. Oh, hello again. So there's another one. Yep. Oh, for a second, I thought he had like a pull stick or something. No, nah, just this. Oh. Oh, yep. oh wow. Thanks. How many hits does he have? I guess he had like six. But thanks anyway. Alright, so. Ooh. All right. Oh, boy. Alright, yep, here's a switch. Okay, cool. Unlocked. Unlocked. Yeah, just look at us. Somewhere, a door to the old. <laughs> nice. Right. We just got everywhere on us. Okay, I think we got more than just blood on us. We probably got some guts and many smudges. Blood, guts, maybe some poison still. Yeah. Well, the as poison. they say, don't what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. All right, let's see what sack boy was guarding. That is a lie. If you break your spine, that is not gonna make you stronger. No, but I, think, I don't think they mean like something like that bad. Oh well, it did kill you. Yeah. Well, you never know. More likely, it probably. I just, it, it just confused me, like, is that a statue? Nope, that's not a statue. No, nope, that's, that's, that's the thing. Yep. Oh, okay, I was about to say. His hands are huge. Yeah, I know. Better to grab you with, my dear. I guess. Ugh. Yeah, I, I think the smoke is, uh, non-regenerative smoke. There's a, there's an item that you can throw that causes, like, this mist that you can't regenerate your health anymore. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, the only way you can't... Oh, fire paper. Yeah, the only thing is with blood vials. You can't do, like, the, the attacks that bring your health up. Huh. Oh, looks like that's it. All right, this is... All right, cool. Yep. Well, I was, might as well check, because you never know if there's another chalice or anything nearby. No. Right. And, uh... You know, I do... This is probably going to change later on. I'm quite sure it will, but... I kind of wish there was a little more going on in these dungeons. Well, this is like, like the same thing would happen with some people then uh, think, uh, oh wait, we gotta go all the way back. Because we already unlocked everything, remember, genius? Well, because remember how it would happen in Yonam? I mean, there was a lot of people were complaining that the game would be easy because of that first place. Yeah. Yeah, well, wait till we go. Remember what happened when we went to the other places, how hard it got? Oh, God, yes. Yeah, so that's what, uh, it's probably what these are gonna do too. This is just the first dungeon. The first layer, because these are the first chalices that you get. Well, I would imagine as you get more chalices as we progress through the game, it's going to get worse. And instead oh, of seeing like yeah. those wraith-like guys and sack dudes, we're going to see squid faces. Oh, and a lot of other things, trust me. And those uh -oh. so... Keeper, Keeper of, of the, the old... Oh, what the hell? Keeper of the old lords? What are you? So we got to find another boss it on looks... our way down? Yep, I just... So I what is it? I can't... I think it's a hunter. Can't tell. No, yeah, oh, it's a yeah. witch. It's a wow. It looks like a. It could be a hunter. Does she have a whip or? No, she's got a sword. Okay, let's fight fire with fire. Whoa. Okay, um. Her fire attack is cool. Yep. Okay, she's just gonna. Oh no! Oh boy. Does she punch fire? Yeah, she punched fires and a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, so let's get. Uh oh. 
Nope. Wow. Okay, I, she's, she's, yeah. Okay, she's, that's a decent amount of damage. Yep. All right, so. Oh, yeah, we're going to hit. This is going to be like one hit, two hits. We're going to hit each other to death. Oh, oh cool. that's fine, because we can kill her. Yeah. Very easily. I told you, yeah, I was, I'm still worried about the fire, though, you know. But that's actually. Uh oh, what is she doing? She oh, she just lit her sword on fire. Now. Okay, two can play that game. Holy crap. And dead. Yep, like I said, look how much damage that did to me. Nice. Woo, boy. Oh, looks like. I think that may be the root chalice we were looking for. Or yeah. is that the same one we already have? Let me look Central real quick. Central Brunimbalum root chalice. Nope, that's a root chalice. Yeah. I mean, that's the one that. Because uh, this is the one that we're on right now, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, because so, this was the first one we did. This is the second one we're, we're... This is the one we're doing right now. This was the third one which we were going to do, and I think this is the last one. Yeah, because look, we don't... We need... Uh, what would, yeah, we got two mold one. This needs two mold two. We need six of those, so we can't do this one yet, and we need Sage's wrist? I don't know where I could find that. Oh. But that may be yeah. able to find in this, this dungeon right here. Oh, or cool. this dungeon right here. Either way. So we'll f hopefully we'll be able to find more later on. That's actually very cool that we just fought another boss. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I thought that was just weird, though. I was like, what's that all the way down the corridor? I see something. And just fire was just erupting. That makes me wonder who, what's next. Yeah, like, I know. Cause, okay, this one had two bosses, and we're not done yet. No, we we still have level three as the last level, I think. I think so. At least in this type. Yeah. Yeah. Labyrinth layer three is the last level. All right, so we went four. No, we went right last time. So let's go four this time. Okay. And as we do delve, please tell everyone about um what you had heard about FNAF. The oh movie. yeah, from what I've heard from uh, a friend. Apparently, it looks like some people are getting very interested in making a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. That's incredible. Yep. The The only thing I know for certain is the... Okay, I guess that's where the door is. The uh, director who is producing the new Poltergeist movie. He's interested in directing... Oh, hey, friend. He's interested in directing the movie. So what did he do before? Uh, he's done a lot of other movies. So the only one I can... Only, only one I remember right now is, is the new Poltergeist he's doing. Okay. Is this? I wonder if this is the same door that we just decided not to go to. Nope, it's a different door. All right, before we go there, let's check around here first. And yeah, he has a lot of things under his belt, from what I've heard. It. I would. I'm. I would be definitely. I would want to go see this movie one because I absolutely loved all three uh, Scott Cawthon's mm -hmm. Scott Cawthon's games. Um, he. I was enraptured. And enamored with, I was raptured. I was enraptured in and enamored yeah, right. with the story from the very first game. Yeah. Um, which All the was hidden last stuff you year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. That's crazy that ev this entire series, this three-game series, this gigantic story that was argued about and tossed around on the interwebs and finally kind of came to a resolution was told within a year. Yep, pretty much. Like, Scott Cawthon, and this all coming from a man who did Christian gaming for yeah, a uh, living. Yep, it was, um, yeah. And, yeah, he did one where he had, like, a beaver, then you had the one that was basically your, uh, some missionary, missionary man, you know, going around spreading the word. Oh, yeah. I think I see a witch down there. Yep. And oh, God, that's right strong. Here. Yep. Okay, that's not good. Nope, well, guess what? Woo, boy. Now you're dead. See, that's what I'm. Oh, hi. That's, that's what I'm still afraid of. I mean, their attacks may not be able to get me, but um, stuff like that may still be able to kill me. So yeah, it is getting harder as we go down. Yep. Um. Yeah, so there's yeah, gotta so be a summoner somewhere around here. He went. He told this wonderful story. He had that gave him nightmares as he was writing the story. All oh this yeah, he got cool he, stuff. He was jump scared by his own creations too. He was jump scared by Bonnie. Yep. It. Yeah, what is that noise? That's one of those things coming after me. Yep. Oh, gosh. Trying to find where the summoner is. That's intimidating. Ooh, okay, yeah, where are you? You gotta be around here somewhere. I thought I saw him on the stairs. I think that's somebody else. No, here you are. There you are. Yep. Ooh, boy. Now, that's, uh, that was this guy. Ah. Uh. The weird dead hunter looking thing. Yeah. All right, I see somebody else down there, too. Big fat Yeah. Hey, yep. 
Um, Quasimodo. And it makes me wonder how they're going to spin this tale because they have... Because pretty much the the entire Ouch. story is pretty cut and dry. And yep, unless they're going to add new stuff to it. Yeah. Unless it... Well, Hollywood always changes. Well, yeah, because the person who's directing is not the person who wrote it. No, and... That's yeah. what happens. Usually someone has a different opinion on certain things than the other. Well, to make it work in movie format, you gotta cut out a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I can think of that, you know, I think it's like, what, every, 9 out of 10 times, the book is always better than the movie. Yeah, because there, there are more details. Yeah, or, but sometimes it's because they uh, had a, did a better chance at exp showing the details. For me, I think one of the finest examples I can think of that was the movie was better than the book was, I think, Forrest Gump. Really? Have you ever read it? No. He's, I mean, he goes to the moon, he goes to a whole bunch of other weird stuff that was, like, so unbelievable. <laughs> so in the movie format, it was a lot, of, uh, they took the best stuff out of it to make it actually believe that this one man was a part of all this. Really? Yeah. Huh. So they, they dialed it back a bit. Yeah. Just and to make it more... Believable. Yeah. yeah. And it worked. Yeah. Because I remember when I watched, I watched the movie first, and then I read the book. And I was like, this wasn't in the movie. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, it it, it all is uh, uh, it all comes down to the director's vision. Yeah. Um, I mean, the I guess that's also a good thing and a bad thing. I think the one of the things would have to be um, uh, Avatar. God, av I hated I hated not. Um, oh, what is his name? I've forgotten. South Park did a spoof of him. Yeah, not but the then, Avatar with the cool blue people. The but cool blue Avatar: people? The Last. Oh, Airbender. you mean those? Yeah, you mean the actual uh, alien race Avatar movie? Yeah, that alien race Avatar movie was spectacular. Yeah, it got over a billion dollars in the first, I think, day it came out. Uh -oh. It was awesome, and I almost remembered his name. It was on the tip of my tongue, but that was. Well, fantastic. he also did The Shining, I think, as well. Did he really? The no, not that one. The Avatar: The Airbender one is what I was talking about. M. Light Shamalani? Yeah, Shamalani. I, I mean, you, the only M. Night Shamalamalamalans movie that I, I like really, that, that people really give a lot of acclaim to is Sixth Sense. Yep, that, that one, and also uh, Signs. Yeah, you know what? Signs was good. I enjoyed Signs. I didn't see Sixth Sense, but I enjoyed Signs. Now, since then, M. Light Shyamalan has like really tanked to the point where cartoons don't even make fun of him anymore because it's just sad now. Yeah, well, because because uh, you know I like the Avatar Last Airbender movie. It was <laughs> it was not that bad. Yeah, I know. Like I said, not that bad. I didn't say it was great. I didn't say it was good. I said not that bad. I, you know what? Because the only thing that threw me off is when they kept saying his name wrong. I didn't like the oh, portrayal hello. of Ang. Um, yeah, it was supposed to be Ang, not Ang. Um. <laughs> that was the fun. That's the only. Oh, look what we found. Sage's wrist. There we go. Sweet. I think that's all we needed was two. Well, yeah, I didn't like the portrayal of the main yep. character. They gave him, you know, they cut out too much of the story that didn't make sense, and the characters seemed to overact a lot. Uh, to a degree, but then again, you know, there's probably the uh oh, what are you? Is that a wraith? Looks like is that a boss or is that just an enemy? I think that's just an enemy. I don't trust it. This is I the don't first trust time it. I've seen a glowing enemy like that. I think I, I just don't. Yeah, huh. I, I don't trust you at all. Oh. Hey. Um, okay, before we fight that thing, we should probably get rid of these guys. Yeah, Hi, hanging. friends. Hanging out. What are you staring at down there? Were you staring at me? No, you're staring at the big guy down there. I can slowly hear breathing, like... Just, just standing there, <laughs> breathing. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Um, oh, I heard heard something. Yeah, I think that's the Wraith. But... Nope, that's just him doing something. There's a Wraith over there. That's a Wraith or Banshee or something. Yeah, we're... Um, okay, I'm opening the door just in case I need to run. But, yeah, I mean, it's... That's really cool. I was gonna say, well, whew, it was really cool. It was. I, I didn't um, trust it one. Hello. So nobody yeah. down there doesn't like me. I think I killed his girlfriend. But yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, look who it is, Sack Sack dude. Boy. Oh I wow. Have hanging. Yeah, he's pissed at me. Sure, sure. Then a little to the left. Yeah, I understand. 
Um, but in my Shyamalan, I I don't think that he did Uh-oh. the Last Airbender justice. No, but then again, it's kind of hard to anyway. It well, I'll put it like this: sometimes cartoon to movie adaptations are really hard. Yeah. In, case in point, Avatar: The Last Airbender. It's hard to portray supernatural powers. Yep. Um, Unless you want to spend a lot of money on the special effects. Like what they've done with the uh, the Marvel movies. Yeah, like the Marvel movies, those are well executed. The yeah. Iron Man movies. But then again, remember when it, when they first started doing Marvel movies, it didn't turn out, it didn't go so well. Cause it, that was the first time doing it. It sucks. I think that was what his problem was. That was his first time ever doing something big supernatural or magic and stuff like that, you know? That's true. I think that Harry Potter handled magic very well. Well, yeah, when it first started, and then that they got more and more details when they got more funds. Yeah. They, oh, wow. This They did magic justice, but M. Y. Shyamalan's movie with um, uh, The Last Airbender is on a completely different level. Are those the little things that come up from the ground? They're just hooded now? Look I at think the faces. so. They kind of look like it, don't they? It does. Yeah, they look like them. Yeah. It's very big. They're effigies, I think yeah. is what you call yeah, them. Yeah, that's what you call them. So, M. Light movie isn't on the same level, that's what I meant to say. Isn't on the same level as Michael Bay's Transformers. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that. Because well, he's used to making, you know, those kind of movies. But I'm saying the, the, the cartoon to movie adaptation was yep. oh, there we go. spot on. Mm-hmm. Like, that is that is somebody who I think, you know, that that's an example of excellence. Like, yeah. You did it. That's that's beautiful. That's what Optimus Prime, the Autobots, and the Septicons, that's how they're supposed to look, act, and feel. Cool. You did a great job. Um... Darn it, I almost remember his name. It's somebody's avatar, and I forgot what his name is. Um, oh, but, wow, what's that? What's that? Oh, oh, that's what it was. There's a boulder? I was like, what's that smoke coming up behind me? What the hell was that? That was a boulder. Yeah, that's where the oh. noise keeps coming from. It's boulders, but where do the boulders keep coming from? Is boulders. somebody pushing them down it, that hole? Yeah, this looks like there's a hole coming down. So there's got to be somebody upstairs pushing the boulders. All right, is there anything down here? We're just gonna die. Oh, and then they just fall down the hole. Yep. Okay. Let's, okay. Let's go down here real quick. All right. Um. But yeah. Wait, hold on. This is to a boss. That looks like. No, it doesn't look like it. Enemy. Yeah. Before we go down to the. Let's see. Yeah, let's do this real quick because this may lead to a dead end. Yeah, but the guy who did Avatar. Very cool. You did it right. Awesome job. Um, oh, the first? You mean the, the giant blue aliens? Yeah, the giant blue aliens one. Um, they did it very good. I enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> kind of, I think it was supposed to be a symbolism for um, uh, the... What's that I'm trying to think of? Uh, Capitalism oh, taking over the nation? Cowboys and Indians. Oh, yeah. yeah that kind of how what it was. You know, the, the Native Americans... Colonization the, and stuff. Yeah, the people trying to take over their homes, make them move, and all this other stuff. Yep, destroying and, the ecosystem in the yeah. process. I can, you know what? I can understand that, and I see it completely. And that's a weird looking head you got there, bub. That's creepy. it. Kind of looks like root. It looks like um. Yeah, it kind of yeah. looks like root a bit, just in a weird dirt way. Yeah. Um. Also, that Gross. reminds me of another thing. We were talking about um. Uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? Uh-huh. And we were uh, like, it's we were thinking it's kind of like segregation. What? Uh, we were talking about how they refer. Uh, I think it was supposed to be. I'm trying to remember when was the big segregation where blacks had to be in a specific part of town and whites were in one another part of town. When was that? Was that in the seventies? No, I think that was more like in the 50s. Okay. Because in the 70s, I think, um, because after slavery, they had Jim Crow, and then after Jim Crow, they had the separate but equal movement, yeah. where this, this you had... Yeah, this is just to a bottom, bottomless pit hole. Yes, it is. Yep. 
Yeah, the things like uh, black only restaurants, white only restaurants, black yeah, only Yeah, stuff like that. Because the thing we thought about that was because, um, you know, uh, back in that time, uh, uh, um, what was it? African Americans can only get jobs at, in entertainment, you know? Yeah. And what do the tunes can only do? Entertainment. Oh, hello again. Yeah, hence the rise of black exploitation movies yeah. and stuff like that. And it's also supposed to be, like, you know, uh, getting African Americans out of their homes. To, uh, wow, he just does not like me. He is. To, um, you know, build, like, uh, the crazy doctor, why well, not doctor, the, I guess, warden, or uh, try to get the tunes out of town so they could build a highway. So, that's it's, not urban renewal, that's... Yeah, this is another word, but you know, where they try to get the people out of the way so they can build better yeah. cities and towns and all this other weird stuff. I know it. Ah, shoot, I forgot it. I'll remember it later, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly I can't remember the word mean. either. Yeah. Hey, okay. you're not a boss. Nope. You... What was that? No. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what was, what was he doing? Everybody oh, got he, up. I think everyone just got up. All right. Who rang the dinner bell? Yep, I think he did. Um, oh, boy. But yeah, we were like, because they, because, uh, you know, the the slang word for African Americans, and they kind of used that. They said, they're tunes. You know, mm. they never actually used their names. They just call them tunes. That's right. That's interesting. Well, I do remember... They they did have them in a separate portion of town. Yeah. Oh, whoa, okay. I remember cool. you trying to do that to me that last dungeon. And, and wait, do I got a? Yeah, is it in our? Really? It's in our forehead. Really? That's I'm awesome. a unicorn. I'm a uni. Oh it, no, I disappeared. Give me another ah. one. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, yeah. I gotta press the pressure play. Where's the pressure play? There right it is. There. Okay, give me an, give me another unicorn. Okay, I think you just got me in the chest. Yep. Yeah, you got me in the shoulder. Oh, oh yeah, shoulder. I was gonna say, can, I wonder if I like did a roll. He'd give me the kneecap. Oh, so we can take an arrow to the knee. Yep. This is probably the boss. Could be. No, I'm wrong. No, I think this is. Yeah, this is the other way. So I think we have to go back. I guess we didn't go everywhere. Eh. Yeah, we didn't find out who was kept hitting the the boulders down at us. That's true. So we gotta go upstairs now. Yeah. All right. So. Um. So yeah, you know what? I can definitely see that in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, I don't remember why we got on that discussion. Oh, it was because we were thinking about weird Pixar movies and double meanings, you know, Disney and all that stuff. Oh, Cause, oh, oh. Because we were because we were talking about um, how Aladdin could be set in the future. What? Yeah, because you know how um, uh, it was mainly all because of what the genie said. How he was like he did impersonations and all this other stuff to actors and everything that aren't even around at that time. Oh yeah. But uh, my rebuttal was that he's magic. So who's to say he can he can't just time travel? That's very true. I mean, genie is you know it never nobody ever really stopped to think about it. But genie was a supernatural being. Yeah. Who could bend the rules of space and time? Yeah. He can actually warp the fabric of reality. Uh-huh. So, do you think that Genie's powers worked more like magic or more like alchemy? It would be magic. Really? Yeah. So you don't think that whatever he granted was replaced by something else? No. I'm pretty much he just made anything that... Uh, it pretty much... I, I don't know. And some people believe that Genie's... Or a little bit it different. Gets into the lore of it. Yeah, but then there's 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 different type of legends. You know, yeah. there's one with fire. There's all this other weird I ones. Was about to say, but the was one a they did do with yeah, the one that um, Jafar. He's the kind of the legend who had fire and all this other stuff. Genie, yeah. he most like the is the more powerful one that can just and make anything happen. Mm. That's the more powerful type. So why did Genie have such trouble with Jafar in later movies? Uh, well, they're both genies, you know, that a certain degree, magic versus magic is going to make things complicated. I'm trying to remember where, every, where all we've been. Huh. All right. Here's this. We didn't go in here before, so we got that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go forward. So, I'm trying to figure out, because it seemed like Jafar was more powerful than genie when he got trapped in the lamp. Though he was just bound. He, it seemed like Jafar was the type of genie that would require a price for his services. He was one of those where it's like working with voodoo magic. Be Kinda. careful what you wish for because the wish could have a backlash. Mm -hmm. um, whereas genie seemed like 
he would just grant you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's it. different types of genies, and each one has their own little thing. Some freely grant the wishes, and hopefully, in return, you give them something after the third wish. And then other genies exact the price. Like yeah, exact the price ex for every type of wish you take. Uh, you know, like what Jafar kind of did. So it's it's different between each one. But can still be very dangerous. Yeah. Now, do you think that um, genie started out something like Jafar? Because they never really explained his backstory. No, I think he's mostly was just a, a supernatural. Just being. a supernatural being. Um, uh, uh, being of magic, basically. Jafar, he was uh, a human a, transformed into it. Yeah, and that he was, was a different. wizard too. Yeah, he was. I guess the their version of a wizard. So, do you think he had a closer affinity to becoming? Like, would he have been stronger than Aladdin? Uh, had fist? Aladdin been turned? What do you mean? Like, if Aladdin turned to a genie? Well, since he knows, since he was a little bit more well versed in the arcane arts, do you think he was a more powerful genie because of that knowledge? He probably knew how to use the magic uh, like a genie because of what he did before. Oh, great, I went somewhere wrong. Crap. Yeah, he probably would be able to learn more, use the magic better than Aladdin would because he knew how to use magic before. Aladdin, he, not really. He, he knew how to parkour. <laughs> yes, he, he knew did. how to fight. He just, you know, I, I don't know. Unless he learned more. That was basically it. Oh, and also what we figured out is, remember in the beginning of the movie, the merchant? Yeah. That was the genie. What? Yep, yeah, because if you look real close, he's the only person in the whole entire movie to have four fingers. Really? Yep. Yeah. And the only pe people who had four fingers was the genie and the, the merchant. So genie was already out of his lamp. Yeah, he was retelling the story. Also, because remember, he show he picked up, he shows the lamp. And that's the same exact lamp that he was trapped in. Wasn't that the lamp that Jafar got trapped in? At the no, he, Jafar had his own lamp. His was black. Oh, that's right. Or very, so... like, weird black crimson looking thing. So, Genie, well, Genie would have been able to do that because he was already free. Yeah, he was already free. It's, it, most likely he kept it because it was he was attached to it. He was, like, what, 10,000 years with the lamp? Yeah. So it's probably, like, a second. It's his home, so he can't get rid of it. It's, like, something that's a part of him. Now, since Genie was free, if somebody were to rub that lamp, he wouldn't nah, appear. No, it wouldn't work. He's already free from the lamp's con uh, uh, con uh, contract, basically. Hmm. And that was basically it. You get three wishes, he goes back to the lamp. That, that, was, the, that was the, I guess, the deal. Hmm. And so, and then it would go to the next person who would rub the lamp. So, now that Genie is free, couldn't he destroy this is where we started yeah i know i keep going keep trying to figure out there was that one way we, that we didn't go i'm um, trying to figure out where it is so i'm just gonna go this way yeah do you think genie now could destroy the fabric of reality since it's, he's just free did we unlock it no we didn't open that door i think we unlocked it how did we unlock it um, oh wait we did didn't we yeah i think we did okay i can't remember I'm just trying to remember, did we go everywhere? I'm just going to check, I'm going to just do one little quick loop. And if we can't do anything else, then we'll go to the door. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Duh. Press the uh, share button. There must have been something wrong with um, Twitch or, you know. Yeah, okay. And we're back, all right. Okay, then that was weird. Uh, Twitch or somebody had an, um, a brain fart. Yeah, a brain fart. We'll go with that. Um, so, uh, so like we were saying. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, and also the other weird thing was. Um, uh, great. I'm trying to remember what it was. I know there was something else. Isn't Genie just like a well of untapped power? Uh, well, that's basically what uh, genies are, basically. That's why they can do almost anything when you give them the, when you grant, when they grant witches, wishes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we've, there's any place else. I could have swore there's one place we didn't go to, or maybe we did, and I just forget. I don't know. But it seems like a creature like that, running around 
unchecked would just be able to get into loads of mischief and no one would be able to challenge it. Yeah, basically, but I think that's the uh, the thing. He's the type of genie that just, you know, wants to have fun and goes around the world and do whatever he wants. Hmm. He's not going to cause that much trouble. He's probably going to have, like, you know, a little bit of mischief, but basically not something that, like, Jafar would do, which is basically pick up a building and throw it at people. Hmm. I mean, you know, it, it just seems odd to me that uh, a being that strong wouldn't have something of a god complex. And speaking of that, um, if you are in a world where genies can grant wishes, how come Aladdin didn't see genie as a god? Uh, he probably did, but, you know, the way he acted and, you know, and all this other stuff, he probably didn't think him much of it. Also, he probably didn't even know what the what a god would be anyway. He was a street rat, remember? He was a street rat, but you would think that there would be some type of organized religion. Um, well, he's, you know, he's been homeless most of his life. Would he even know about religion that well? He knew about the sultan and the sultan's Well, rules. he knew it was that, but that's something that's just part of life, you know. <laughs> The guards keep him away from all those people, so he would know about that, but I don't really think he would go to a mosque. Well... But then again, this is Disney. I don't think they would incorporate religion. No, but you would think in those type of aristocratic regimes, they do impose uh, the theocracy of okay. the royalty on the peasants. True, but this is Disney, remember? This is... Very much so. This is Disney. I'm just saying, like, it... If you think about it, it's kind of strange that that's not a thing. True, but then again, what happened? You see a god, what, is the, what does the god tell you? I give you three wishes. So, you were the one in control of him now, not not him. And I'm surprised. Because basically, he could, remember, he said, Genie, go back in the lamp. What did Genie do? He went back in the lamp. Yeah. So, he basically the god over a god. Yeah. So, that's why he probably, so, he was probably frightened of him at first, but you know. So, Genie is essentially just a slave. Oh, ba yeah, that's basically what it is. That's why he wanted the, his wish was to be free. That's what his uh, last, what last wish was. Oh, I think this is going to be a boss. Yep. Okay. Knock, what, knock. What the? Phenomenon what Descendant? What is that? It looks like Jiraiya. No. Oh, oh, what was that? He threw it. He's, oh, holy crap. Oh, oh my God. You, you, he's, you're, he's in our face. He's in our face. Okay, so... Prenumian descendant. What is it? Is it was that the 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 um the chalice thing we have? Yeah. The name. Yep. Oh and my you, gosh. Can course. we have that? I. It looks just like a scythe. It's a giant like throwable scythe. Okay. Weapon. You know what? Ouchies. Okay. Come back here, bub. I ain't through with We're you yet. Kill it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. oh. He turned it to two. Up, oh, yep, up, oh, crap. He can throw both of them. That's really cool. He kind of reminds me of the weapons that the the crow lady has. Remember? Yeah. Yep. Oh it kind of looks like the crow lady's blades. Dude, you're too cool. He looks like something out yep. of uh, Lords of Shadow. Yep, kind of. Okay, I think with the gothic. Uh, yep. I need to. Um... All right, ready? Come I on. mean, we're gonna kill him. Please. Oh yeah, I know, but he can still. Do pretty amount of good damage if he gets close enough. Yeah, I mean you're gonna die, dude, but you're cool. It's like Bleach. His sword went into its yep. second form, and he's Ooh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Nice uh, outfit you got there. Lower produce. So that's a new one. Yep. So we've got four chalices now. Oopsie, my bad. Um, so we have the. Yep, we've got this one. That's the first one we defeated. This is the one we're in now. This is the third one. This is the root one, and this is the, the one he just gave us. So we have, we pretty much have regular, central, and lower. Yep. Okay. So uh, I think there's, we're it. I think there's no nothing else left to do here. So it looks like for all of these chalices, they have three standard levels, and the only thing that we can do now is just, like, get transported back to the hunting yep. dream. Because it looks like for right now, there's two level ones, two level twos, and maybe just one level three. And the one level three... It only requires just the ri nine ritual, three ritual bloods? I think so. Uh, go back to the Hunter's Dream. Yeah, so we did it. Yeah, we got this one. That guy was really cool. I wish oh, yeah. taking his weapon. That thing was awesome. So yeah, you have I it as a scythe form in the beginning, and then for your strong attacks, dual wield scythes. Like I said, the only thing that looks similar to that is the crow's 
uh, blades. She has kind of something like that. That's too cool. And it automatically de-equips your right hand weapon so you can just hit yep. the triggers and dual wield it. Creators of Bloodborne, why didn't you give us that? Yeah, well, we, like I said, the close, I think that's what the Crows is. It's basically a one-handed weapon like that, and then you can switch it over to a two-bladed weapon. Oh. That's what she has. So more like has that? We can later on. Oh, that's cool. I want it. I want it. Okay, let's see if we can go to this root chalice. Short root chalice. Okay, ritual. I guess we don't have that yet. All right, let's uh, remove this because we've already defeated it. Yeah, that was cool. All right, so we did this one, this one. Now we need to do this one. Yeah, and then we just this was the one, the other one that took that needed more. And then there's this one. And I already have, we need... And so we got the bold. I mean, we got the bold. Yeah, this one. It's a, a hinter tune, so it's a different era. You want to do this one? Or uh, you want to do uh, the other chalice? You want to do this one or this one? Let's let's go... Yeah, let's go there. This Might one? Well, yeah. All right, so this is... Yeah, we did this one. So we need to go to this one. All right, yep. And I've already got 41 of them, so we should be okay. Hey guys. Alright, so that means we've only got two more, I think, unless there's another chalice they give us, but I don't think so. Unless there's a, a second level three one. Oh, Alright, here we go. Interesting. So in running around in this one we got the hinter tomb chalice. Yeah, that one I guess was was in one of the, the coffins. The hmm. secret one. Hmm. That's interesting. But all right. Oh, right. But we, we, we went from Five Nights at Freddy's talking about Disney. Yeah. Back to what, what I was saying about Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, it would be interesting uh, to see how they're going to tell the story. Because if you want to stay true to the story, Five Nights at Freddy's has to be a quote-unquote one-man type of movie like Castaway was. Yeah. Um, where it's told from the perspective of one person and they have to figure out a way to encompass all three of the stories because that's how you tell the entire story in one movie. True. I don't think that there's enough content. I don't think Scott Coughlin provided enough content to span multiple movies. Uh, you could. It if, would you be a do it, if you do it right. I feel like it would be a stretch. Um, Not much. Oh, hello. Wait. Oh boy, you guys just came out of nowhere. Yeah. But um, here's how I think that they can do it. Um, Wait, hold on. Is this the same dungeon? It looks like it, doesn't it? But then again, I could be... It is! Oh, we just we just did the same dungeon. Oh, see. Okay, we're gonna have to leave. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. That was weird. I could have sworn we did this. This is the different one. Well, we can... We can always return to the hunter's dream, so I guess we have to... Oh, too late. Yep. It would he suck. Just, he, just, he burped at us. It would suck if he swiped and it's like, it still damaged us. Wait. wait. Yeah, that would suck. So that would probably be... That'd be another way to glitch the game again. Okay, yeah. so... Did we go to two dungeons or did we just do one last time? We just did one. Yeah, because I was trying to remember how many dungeons we've done. We Right now, we've done... Two dungeons. Okay. We've done the first Pernubian one, and we did this one. Now, do you get a different dungeon when you put it on a different gravestone? No, that's the same one. Remember, that's what we did. Oh. This is just it's the same one. It's just a where, another way to put another alt or ritual one. Because like I say, you put one here, and if you don't want to complete this one yet, or you can't, you can start another um, dungeon. Uh, dungeon. Oh. All right, so... so We'd have to go to lower Pernumbra. Yeah, because we just... Soup. Yeah, we did this one, and I know we did this one, so the one we haven't done is the root one, and then this one. Okay. Yeah, because we ha I, know, I know we haven't done Ritual Blood 1 and 2 Mold. That one we haven't done. This one is the one we just got, and then this one as well. So, we need to go to the Root Chalice one. That's okay. the one we haven't done yet. Okay, that's cool with me. Yep. So, um... What I was saying is, is I would be interested to see who the main character would be because it seems like in every one of the games the main character is a male. One. It could be. And two, 
how are they going to tell this story? Because you said you had heard rumors of how they were going to do it. Yeah, I've just heard rumors. I don't know if it's going to be true or not. From what I've heard from my friend is that they'll they would do something like this. It would if they are going to do it, they're going to start off from the third movie. How mm-hmm. it's going to be a haunted attraction, and it was going to be kind of like with the The Shining, where while they're going around being chased around, they're going to go into one part. Now, there's going to be a bigger attraction. It's not going to be that small area. It's going to be like, you know, something like double floors or something. Mm. And what's going to happen is, is that he's going to go through a door and then get transported to, you know, uh, like what happened with The Shining. He'll go through the, uh, the area and it'll be like, you know, ghosts were like dancing in the ballroom and everything. And that's what's going to happen. He's going to go through a door and all of a sudden it's going to be a uh, kid's party going on, even though there shouldn't be one going on. Mm. So it's like, you know, it'll be running away, being scared, go through the door, and then all of a sudden he'll be in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, where the first establishment was. See, and that's the thing that would get me would be if they were going to do something like this, it seems like it would make more sense if it was somebody, some person. For me, it seems like it would make more sense if it was some guy. Um, because it seems like the male, uh, the main characters who sit in the offices seem to be dudes. Like the names on the checks at the end seem to lend themselves to men. What just happened? Why? What happened? He got set on fire. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say what set him on fire? Oh yeah, he did. I forgot. Oh, maybe you pressed the. Uh... Yeah, I pressed the switch and the thing shot a, an arrow at him, but I didn't know that would kill him. Oh, that was cool. That was interesting. I actually got an achievement for that slash trophy. <laughs> but, I um, mean, because it would be interesting. I mean, the the guy's helping out with the attraction, and all of a sudden the attraction starts turning real, and then all this stuff starts happening to him. Well, yeah. That or it takes place as, um, like most horror movies do, Somebody is driving by, the car breaks down. It's raining very heavily, somebody's driving by. Well, from what I've seen, that's not going to happen. No. And you run into um, the Five Nights at Freddy's building that's been shut down. It's like an outsider coming into town. It could be, but from what I've heard, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be like, you know, somebody who's actually working there. It's going to be like what happened in the video games. It's going to be your first day on the job. Well, see, that's the thing that um, would... It, it would make sense as far as the continuity of the game, but as far as a horror movie setup, it seems like... Well, this it is, because remember, what happened... Like I said, that's why they're going with the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 movie first, because what happens in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, you're helping test out the attraction and make sure that it's scary. Yeah, that's true. And so, but what happens is you get more than what you bargained for, because everything actually starts turning real. You know, your first day, everything's fine. You're the one that's actually making people scared. And then the next day you hear, hey, we actually found something. Mm-hmm. And then that's when the real scares start happening. Well, it... That's when you start getting hunted by this thing. Well, there would have to be more of an explanation of the backstory. Well, well, there is. Remember, it's supposed to be... That's why they started out with three. It's 30 years later after all the craziness that happened before. It's 30 years later, but they have to figure out a way, one, to incorporate Phone Guy, and two, to tell the killer's story. Well, yeah, because remember, that's um, what's going to happen. Like um, like I said, that's why they're going to pull some things from The Shining, because, you know, the killer actually was there. They killed all the guests and went crazy. And same thing like this is what's going to happen, is that you uh, slowly start to find out the story of the kids, who the actual spring trap is, who... Uh, Remember, because, spoiler alert, he's the killer. They killed all the kids. Yeah, well, I... And then that's why you have those little flashback moments when you go back to the earlier moments of the establishment. Well, it would have to span three establishments then, wouldn't it? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what the flashbacks go for, because they start telling the story Mm. of the kids. You know, they go back, they go to the first Five Nights at Freddy's, which is Five Nights at Freddy's 2... And then that's when they start having the parties, and that's when what happens. You see a kid just crying, and he turns around, and he's crying, and he looks like what? The Marionette. marionette. And then he gets taken away and dies, and then you go back to Five Nights at Freddy's 3, and you go to each door you go to is a, another instance of how the kids die. So do you think that Springtrap is going to be chasing him still? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. The first night is going to be 
from what I've heard, he's going to be doing the attraction. It's like, okay, it's not scary enough. We've got to do something to spice things up. And that's uh, so he's doing his thing, and then he gets a phone call from the other guys as we found these, uh, this old place, this old establishment. And they go there, and then they start taking the tape recordings of Bone Guy, these newspaper clippings, all these files, and all this other stuff. And then they run into a room when they find Springtrap. So, do you think that the um, the phone actual like the recordings of the Phone Guy will start playing over? The PA system by themselves. Yeah, more than likely. Oh. You know, because then, because then, from what I've heard that the that may be later on is that I think I'm just going around in circles here. Sorry, everybody. That um, he'll you know escape the horror attraction and try to go back to the where they found Springtrap, you know, and everything, and try to correct the mistakes or you know try to uh, figure out how to put everything to rest. He would have to bring the children cake in a spirit yeah, world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He would try to have to find a way to get the the kids to help him stop Springtrap or something, you know. Hmm. Or they actually use the place as where they to make the horror attraction, you know. They could say, we need to go scary. And says, well, there's the old basement that was converted from this old place. Let's go down there. Maybe we can find something, you know. Hmm, so. Who knows? Or they could be like how some haunted house places, they just, uh, you know, just use the old decor and just put some new stuff in it. Well, that's what I was thinking, like, with the direction I was going in with the, the guy who broke down and is trying to seek shelter in this place. He actually runs into the old establishment that's actually really condemned and still really has Yeah, well, that's track. what I'm saying. It would be, he wouldn't, that's, they would use that place to... Uh, you, I guess, put where Five Nights at Freddy's is. I would Third hope, one. I would hope to hope that if they did this movie, um, instead of having it in a new disconnected location, they actually made, uh, they actually took the attraction like they do with, um, ouch, ouch, and ouch. Like they do with, like, historical landmarks. They say, okay, this place is run down. Let's renovate it a little bit, but keep some of the creepy atmosphericness. Oh, crap. We were looking around in this place a little bit. We found a hidden room, and we found something. And that's when they activate Springtrap again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And once they activate him again, like in 3, that's when the phantasms and the spirits start waking up, and he starts seeing these visions. Yeah, because there's another place where he's been hiding the bodies. Yep. And I'm kind of wondering because Markiplier had a fantastic Wolf of War stash uh, video where he was interviewing the phone guy over the phone. Yeah. That's not the part that I really liked about the video. The part that I really liked was at the end where they simulated actually being hunted by the animatronic. Mm -hmm. That was very cool in that it created a lot of suspense and I could believe that that would be the kind of situation that this guy would be in or somebody who was in that particular situation would be in. Yeah, because from what I've been hearing is that they, the, the guy's it's going to be filled kind of like the Blair Witch Project kind of thing. Well, oh, well, you're just going to fall down. Okay, that's where the door is. I hope that they make it in like a new age setting where it's like, okay, you got an iPad. Like they did in Daylight? Not, yeah, Daylight. I know what you're talking about. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. He's supposed to be uh, having a camera that's recording everything, but he's also supposed to have a phone next to him, so he can have um, text messages and all this other weird stuff. Because the 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 creepy part comes in is that when he's looking through the camera, it you you see through the eyes, you know, it's all decrepit and everything. But when you look through the uh, your phone, you actually see it be like brand new and everything, and that's oh. where the creepy part starts uh, showing up. Not only that, but. You know, it would be very cool and very interesting for him to uh, be uh, moving around the place, still carrying his eye. Wow, that's new. I don't trust that. Him to be carrying around this iPad that's hooked into the security system. And yeah, still so be that's what I'm saying. Videos when he, as he's moving. That's what it was. It's supposed to be something like that. So he's like watching the animatronics. Oh, what the? Wow. It's naked. Yeah, he, you're it's, very naked. He's got like a. You get, no, I was about to say he's got naked. a loincloth, but he, no, he's just naked. 
Oh, and you just did a handstand. Gosh. Yeah, don't you just feel proud? Yep, here we go. I'm about to say, where's the switch? Um, but yeah, running around frantically looking for the animatronic, seeing phantasms Mm -hmm. on his, um... Kind of like, um, House on Haunted Hill kind of thing, you know? Yep. Seeing the phantasms of moving shapes, seeing phantasms in real life, and then trying to send out for help, seeing that his signal is jammed. Yeah, kind of like unfriended. Yeah, you've seen that uh, that horror th- those horror movie trailers for that. I, Unfriended looks like it's going to be creepy. Yep. Um, but actually having his phone not be able to send out signals and being jammed is something that Foxy and the Mangled can do. So that's a very feasible thing. Yeah, it's also especially when he starts getting the phone guy calling him on the or sending him messages. It would be interesting not only to hear. Well, not the. Well, it'd probably be the killer, but either way, you know, the sky's this phone guy. Well, it would be very interesting to not only hear phone guy in the PA system, but our oh, merciless. Oh, rockets. these guys again. Oh. It would be very interesting to see uh, phone guy sending his messages and hearing phone guy like either call him, leave messages on the phone, yep. or leave a text. Oh yeah, that stuff like be that. Crazy. So, I'm interested to see how they do this movie. It has a lot of potential to be very interesting, and it has a lot of potential to make Scott Cawthorn a lot of money. Yep. And all Ooh, because, boy, that was interesting. Nice. And all because uh, a Christian yep. writer mm-hmm. took a chance and went to the horror side. Yeah, well, he basically just said, you know, he's people criticized about his game, saying they look like animatronics and they're evil and everything. And he's so, like, you know what? I can make it even scarier. Before we continue, uh, we there we go. Actually, have reached the end of our uh, live stream. Yep. So let's uh, oh, I was about to say, where's the torch? Let's sit in on the. Yeah, board. let's get the torch first. But oh yes. Um, we enjoyed the time that we spent with our Oh, hey, friend! Um, what's that? What's that? Just leave me alone. What was that? Ha! We high-fived him with the sword. Yeah, something like that. Okay, then. That was weird. Uh, I think we'll just end it here on that. Yeah, so, uh, thanks so much for joining us on the live stream. Thank you so much for joining us on YouTube when you're watching this video. By the time this video goes up... We should already be playing Mortal Kombat. So. Oh, yeah. And like I said, for anyone else who's watching, I want to try to see if I can put up a sneak preview of uh, what's to come. Yeah, for Mortal Kombat. So, very cool, very interesting things on are on the horizon. Um, so, thank you again if you're watching this video. We do stream uh, every Thursday between 12 and 2 for right now. If you don't catch us immediately at 12, check back because we got some other things that are going on in the background and we try to get to the live stream as soon as we can. So, what is that? I'm pouring at you. Nice. We want to thank you. Yes, we do. Um, So, thank you so much for joining us. I am Shane. I'm the Mad Hatter. And we will see you all on the next live stream and in the next video. Yep. Bye-bye.